Hi everybody, my name is Dreamy. I am a FGC VTuber, content creator, and competitive player for Kanuichi CGL. I have done in the past Sundel and Melina for Dash Fight for MK11, and I'm glad to be back on board for uh, Sundel and Melina for MK1. And I hope to accomplish the same things I did for MK11 for MK1. And please, before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their websites for all the things that you see. Alright, Sindel's basics and main game plan. She is a zoner and aggressive type of character. She is very different compared to her MK11 version of herself. Her job is to zone with low, high, and air fireball to get the opponent to come to her. And that's where she becomes aggressive with her levitate cancel and her with punishing forward one and forward four. Then when they're down, you can either continue being aggressive or back away from more zoning. Her best pokes are down one, down three, and down four are really good. But the main one you should be using is down three. Because like, look at that range. <laughs> That's the one that you need to be using. And uh, down three with uh, Fireball is really, really good. And for your meaty moves, it's forward one and forward four. Both of them are really good to break armor when the opponent wakes up. And you also can uh, start a combo with them. And for pressure and your plus buttons, it's 1-1, one, one, forward 1, and uh, forward 4. Both, all three of these are really good. 1-1 one, one is for pressure and shimmying. And uh, forward 1 is amazing for whiff punishing. That's basically her best range move here. Her forward 4 is good, but it's like 17... Uh, sorry, sorry. 14 frames for this not really ideal with her forward four it's like it's good but not could be better but yes forward one is your best option after they get hit you can follow up with a cameo or uh, anything of your choice a scream because you can combo off uh, forward one with a scream but i prefer using serena because you can get some more damage out and for your pressure and plus moves, I'm gonna be talking about pressure moves right now. 1-1 one, one is really good for pressuring and shimming the opponent. Forward 1 is is amazing. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's great for whiff punishing and her best uh, range move. Excuse me. Forward 4, the classic forward 4 from MK11. It's back. <laughs> But it's different. It's 17 frames startup. It is her mid, but I prefer forward one because it's way longer than. Look at that forward four range. It's it's, it's not the same. You can be like right here with forward one. Look at that. And then the same range. I mean, you can still you know get close but still forward one <laughs> is your choice okay forward one people and uh after you uh hit them with this you can do either a cameo or a scream and for your uh plus moves it's two four that is plus and two four four but i advise you to not do that because they can flaws block it. Hold on. Putting the frames. 17 frames. But it's still good. Look at that. Two. Two on block. That is your plus frames right there. 244 four is good, but you can block flaws block the end. So I advise you not to do that unless your opponent doesn't know about it. Then uh abuse it. <laughs> Her special moves are simple besides like three uh one requires execution and the other two are is about timing and being in the right position but we're going to be talking about her fireballs that i mentioned in the beginning her low her high and air fireball they are back from uh mk9 
I am so happy that they're back. <laughs> because they are so good. This is why she's a, a zoner. Also, her overhead. Very fast overhead. Super fast. Basically, her MK9 cartwheel, but a bit faster. I wish we had something fancy about it, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> As well as her levitate. This is for your pressure, actually. Say you do a uh, back two. Pressure. And you can combo into it. But I advise you not to start with that. But that. So we're going to get into that. Just wait. <laughs> but yes, she has levitate cancels. It's, it's, it's so nice. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and she does have uh, the low fireball, right? But with a twist, you can amplify it and you can combo after it. After it, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah! Screen's back. And it restands, by the way. I. Oh. I love it. I, I'm obsessed. I wish we can come into it twice. That's just me. <laughs> As well, let me talk about the levita levitate real quick. It does require execution. It's about timing and it's going to take a lot of practice. You're going to have to practice it over and over and over to get it down. Okay. It's uh, like I've said, it's not optimal for combos. But the thing I showed you uh, with the hair fireball, the amplified thing, that is the most optimal you can get with her. Okay, we're going to be talking about two special moves at the same time because they're basically in the same boat. Okay, let's go to the move list. Inspire. Down, back, three. Okay. Inspire makes your uh, cameo regenerate you faster. That is insane. When I first found out about this on the combat cast, I screamed. I'm gonna be real. And for the twist, the amplified version, let me set her to. Uh, uh, let's see. Mm, breaker on. Okay. Okay, you amplify it, right? Oh, look, it's just amplify. There's nothing you can do it against, uh, against me. <laughs> but you only have to amplify it though. This is inspired. And you can do a combo after it. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, but it's really hard to get off of because like the startup time is super slow. But that's where like a cameo comes in, like uh, sub zero. Let me show you real quick. Let me record this. Okay. This one is Queen's Command. Let me show the inputs. Down, back three. And with this, you can steal your cameo. Or for the default version, not the amplified, you can just stun them for a little period of time. And they can't come back to you for that duration. But for some reason, Sindel still has her armor. Uh, broken. Uh, let's see. And then with the reed... Uh, you can get... Sub-Zero. <laughs> it's, it's shocking. Yes. Oh my god, she's broken! No. No. Okay, listen. She, she's not broken. Get off this. And she can do, uh, let's see, where is the... It's on. But she's not doing it. But with Sub-Zero, the cameo, you can steal him. And Sub-Zero is really good for Sindel, but we'll get into that later. She can do her, uh, little amplified version of Inspire. 
That is so good. And if she gets sub zero, it's like free to get off. Come here. See, this is really good. And then if your opponent has full on uh, meter, they can't break away or they're gonna have to take all the damage. So it's really good for her, sub zero. And the cameo still, it's great. But yes, the only thing I did wish that she had in her uh, special moves move set is her hair grab. Like, where is it? We need it. Us and Dell players need it, right? <laughs> but yes, her combo starters. She is not a mixed heavy character, so you're gonna have to open people up with 1-1, one, 4-1, one, one, and 2-4. Uh, Those are her main basic combo starters that you need to know. Okay, and there's also back two. See, that that is slow. That is a mid, right? 14 frames. But with that, cancel. With the uh, down, back two. Yeah, that is her levitate. Pretty simple, not really. Uh, <laughs> back two. And levitate. Okay, that is her pressure. That is real. And when they're blocking... That is really good. You can go for a grab. Maybe not, maybe it's two plus. <laughs> yeah, it's two plus. <laughs> But you can go for your 1-1, one, one, your back one, or your 2-4. Four. Either or, really. There's also forward 4-3. Four, four, it's a combo starter, but it is really risky, and you have to get them as, like, a whiff punish. If you see forward 4 hit, you're, you're such a... Why are you here? Nobody wants you. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Four, four, three. Okay. Is also a combo starter. If you get them in the corner and uh, full screen. We'll show you combos and how to uh, put those together. Okay. Now we're going in depth with Sindel. Her offense and pressure is her cancels. Okay. Remember, that is real. They're gonna have to, like, guess if you're just gonna float there. Right? Okay, and go for just a, uh, a grab. Because they're gonna think that you're gonna go for the standing uh, one or jumping one. Sorry. And for your uh, pressure, forward one, 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 two, four. You gotta remember that. And I uh, mentioned that it was a uh, back one. It's actually forward one. I am sorry about that. Forward one. <laughs> and when you're getting pressured in the corner, right? You got a uh, armor. Say she does this. One, one. Armor to get out of the corner. If she wants to keep on pressuring, armor. You gotta armor to get out of the corner. That is your main ticket to get out. Or just block. Just block it. And then go up and grab. That is like, basically, what you need to be doing. Armor, or being patient with her. All right, time to talk about cameos. There are three that are really, really good with her. Serena and Sub-Zero and Kung Lao. We're going to be talking about Serena right now. She is basically your high damage uh, for Sindel. I mean, people want their damage right. They want their long uh, extending combos and stuff. And Serena is really good with zoning and everything like that. So if like if you like damage, you like long combos, she is your girl. I know. Oh my god, Serena's always getting chosen. Listen. She needs it, okay? Sindel needs it. Oh my gosh, she just gets like 30% off of like one combo. Why not get like 40? Like, come on. <laughs> and sub-zero, 
I have mentioned about earlier about the um, cameo uh, things uh, with her special moves, how she steals them. Sub Zero is the ticket for using both of her uh, cameo moves. Well, not both, but just like the main one, where she can um, break uh, break away. Sub Zero can freeze your opponent, and then she can get it off like that for free. As well as um, uh, Sub Zero can uh, keep her safe, and he's overall a really good cameo for her. A lot of people have been using him and Serena, but also Kung Lao. Let me talk about Kung Lao, okay? Kung Lao has a low hat that is plus two on block. All right, so mix that with the Levit Cake. Uh, le uh, Levit Cake. Okay, levitate cancels, and then with the low uh, hat, it's it's annoying. You get a free hit off of it. They have to block. They have to block it. You can go for a grab. Anything you want. Apply more pressure, and his hat comes back fast. Uh, they might change him, but we'll see. He is stupid, but he's really good for her as well. So yeah, it's up to you though the player which cameo you want to use with her if you want to use sonia if you want to use anybody else chajinko i know he's difficult right now but a lot of things are being like shown recently about her damage with chajinko but yeah so it's up to you all right combos combos are like my favorite thing to do i am using serena she extends your combos okay she, she's worth it. And then also Sub-Zero if you want to do your cameo stealing or use the breaker move. I recommend him. It would be easier that way. Because the um, this is really, really slow. So I recommend him. And also Kung Lao for pressure. The low hat is like really plus and it comes back super fast for Sindel. So that's really good. And also, for the simple combos, for without a cameo, is this. A little cute 30% for your uh, little mid-screen combo without Serena. Alright. That is no bar, by the way. That's also another 30% with no bar. Okay. I know we love Levitate Cancels. They look beautiful, amazing, stunning, right? But let me tell you, when they scale your combo, it is not optimal at all. It looks sick, right? But it's not optimal. This is mainly optimal. Okay. Back to and uh, high air ball into a levitate again it's a bit complicated but i'm sure if you practice more and more you'll get it down back to sorry back to levitate one okay you just gotta get the the rhythm with it okay Gotta keep on practicing it. Alright, let me show you two mid-screen combos with uh, Serena. So good. One bar, by the way. Okay, another one. my god it's so good damage all right and that's only one bar by the way you can do this twice and get way more than you want but that's just the little taste of what you can do with serena time for your corner combos <laughs> all right i am gonna be showing you now the corner combos i'm gonna do three uh 
of them. I'm gonna do an extra with three bars. I'm gonna do one with two bars and one bar. That is your one bar. That's amazing. I love it. Two bars. Okay, time for your third combo. Look at damage. Three bars is rough, but... What can you do? I think there's one you can do with like one bar, not not one bar, but two bars, but basically 50% with Fatal Blow. It's really nice. Okay, before we go, let me talk about her strengths and weaknesses. She's really good at zoning. She's really good at with punishing the opponent, but sh it's really hard for her to open up the opponent, especially because she has no mix. So you got to be really... A patient and apply the pressure she's not bad but she's not super good either she's in between you just have to put in the work with her the execution combos and such but overall i love her design i did wish she was mix heavy like an mk11 but honestly i love the way she plays she's super super fun her kit is completely unique than the other cast and we just gotta explore more and hopefully chameleon when she comes out uh, she is great for her. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I hope you found the Sindel guide really useful as well. You can also check out the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like or a comment below with your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye.